All right, dog lovers everywhere seem to uh, anxiously await the Westminster Dog Show and the top dog announcement of Best in Show. But what about the dogs who are le <laughs> when you guys see this dog? So let's just say are less fortunate in the looks department. Okay, there, I said it. You might be thinking it. There is a place for them, too. Heather Allen with Halo Animal Rescue and Heather Peoples are here to talk a little bit about Worst in Show and Reggie, of course. It's a new documentary that is hitting the valley this weekend, and uh, this is Reggie. This is Reggie. <laughs> this is Reggie, and we're going to have to get a lot of close-ups of Reggie. Uh, he Aww. just seems to be the sweetest dog ever. He just keeps laying his head, you know, on your shoulder. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's extremely, extremely loving. He doesn't know what the whole contest is about. To him, it's just, you know, lots of treats and lots of pets. And, exactly. And that's all it is to them. So what are they... they do they typically judge on this is just the the documentary that's coming out there's right there's not an actual sh dog show this weekend right no it's in the 23rd okay so what do they they look for for worst in show uh warts uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue hanging out you know he's got dueling mohawks down his back okay do you think um, we can get him yeah come on Rich. If he's gonna be, he's a little shy today. Come here, Reggie. Come here. There we Hi. go. Oh yeah, so we can, just have to show every part. So you can of see you. like the dually mohawks down his back, and then of course the lopsided ears, the lopsided head. Now, does he? I'm gonna ask every question because people might be thinking I'm not trying to be mean. Does he no. have any kind of an infection or, uh, like, yeah? Is he losing his hair? Is he no. old? No, he's actually seven years old, but okay. he is a Peruvian Incan orchid, so. It's is he, a, he's a purebred? No, he's a mix. We're just not sure of what. So <laughs> just take whatever you want, throw I it in there. I there's a lot of people they could make up their own. We do on, on a lot of occasions. Uh, with him, it's, it's, um, the, it's a genetic deficiency. So not only does it take away the hair, but, you know, there's no teeth. He has no teeth? No. Oh, look at that. Oh, that might be why he always sticks his tongue out. Tongue, tongue always out falls to out to the side. side. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm definitely going to come back to you because I want to talk more about Reggie. But we can't ignore this this handsome fellow over there. And another Heather. How are you? Good morning. How You're doing fun. great. Animals are so fun. Whether they're the, the best looking or the worst looking, they just make you love them, don't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. And yep. this little guy's hoping to make you love him because he needs a home. Yeah. This is Valentina. We got her on Valentine's Day with a really bad injury to her back foot. Um, and it took us three months of bandaging and getting it all better, but uh, she's got some scarring left. But other than that, she's doing great. She is the sweetest, most loving girl, and she just really needs somebody to come take her home. How she old do you think ready. she is? We think that she's around six or seven. So she's in the senior category, but, you know, she is so great with the other dogs. She'd prefer a home with no other cats, uh -huh. um, but she loves, loves people and just wags her little nubby tail and, and wants a home so desperately. Oh, she's just watching everything. She is. She really so likes cute. watching the camera. So cute. Okay, so let's go back to, to Reggie and Heather. So tell me more about this documentary. How did they find you guys? Well, I've actually been entering the contest since 2006 when my dog Archie won. Okay. And then did um, Archie look like Reggie? No, Archie was uh, much smaller. Is that Archie right there? No, oh, that's, my that's God. Sam. Do you know um, Sam? I no, I actually I, I entered the contest after Sam. There is Archie is in here somewhere. Right there? Nope, nope. that's Rascal. Okay. Um, <laughs> Is that a special breed of dog that looks Those like that? Those are Chinese Cresteds. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely Aww. one of a kind. Yeah, that's icky. So they, so they obviously knew about you and found you because you had entered these contests before. Yeah, and I was going up last year, so they had contacted me and said, would you mind doing uh, an interview when you get here? And I said, okay, well, I drive in. So they got me right when, out of a, after a 13-hour car ride and did this whole interview process. And then originally when Archie won, Don was the one who had uh, interviewed me. Uh-huh for the, the Sonoma County uh, paper. Uh -huh. And he kind of thought it was a little bit weird and a little bit odd, but then more and more as he got to talk to all of us, he realized that, you know, we don't care what the dogs look like. For us, this is not, oh, look how ugly my dog is. Look, it's, it's about, this is a rescue dog. About 99% of the dogs that are in this contest are rescues. Right, and I think that's important that you say that, you know, because as we're sort of poking fun, it is the, the worst in show, right. you know, which means they're not, they're not the I don't even want to say it, the prettiest, because, you know, everybody comes in all different shapes and sizes. Right. Uh, but it is that you can just tell that they are the, the most loving creatures, mm -hmm. and they just love you guys so much, probably because they are rescues, right? Most likely, yeah. So when, when, when Don contacted me, he says, the documentary is done. They've been doing it all over San Francisco. He's like, do you know of any rescues in the Valley that would like to get in touch with you or, and do this? And I said, yeah, go ahead and call Halo, because I fostered for them, and I've helped them out. So that's how this kind of came about, is for them to come here and... and 
and uh, premiere it. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard great so things about it. So where can people it. watch it? It's going to be on... It's going to be this Saturday uh -huh. at the Tempe Madcap Theater at uh -huh. 7 o'clock, and they're actually going to do a little... Um, ugliest dog contest before it so people can actually bring their dogs with them the oh, theater's great. giving yes. them permission so they can um, get tickets online now for a couple bucks cheaper than uh -huh. at the door um, but it's going to be so much fun to, to see the documentary and to see people come out with their pets yeah and we actually content. have uh, the information right oh, here yeah. so I'm sure there's a lot of people that would love to go to this. And it's kind of like a send-off for him, because in two weeks we're going back to California, and we're hoping to bring the trophy back again this year. Will you let us know? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll be rooting for you, Reggie. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys very much, and we hope that um, Valentina gets a home. Yes. yes. They can get a hold of a Halo Animal Rescue yes, if please. anyone is interested in Valentina. You could tell she does sort of... Uh, you know, try not to stand on that little foot, but she yeah, seems like she, a sweetie pie. Yeah, she holds it up every once in a while, but she's, if you could see it three months ago. It's not for it's television what it looked like, okay. for sure. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, thanks for having us. Stephanie, what do you think? Aren't they cute? I think they absolutely are contenders for another award. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs>